We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. making his way to the ring and I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up this isn't one of them All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Here we go, Buck. Smart. Round one of 12. <laughs> Not much action as he just ties up. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say, it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Watch that. Good flush shot by Boom Boom. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You see him holding on. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good job protecting himself. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Work the body. Work the body, kid. That's right. Body shots. Body shots. Nice block. Hey, man. Come on, now. Keep your feet moving. Come on, now. Good way to protect the midsection. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Good job staying away from the danger there. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell 
that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go, round two is underway. Forth a great combination there. Blocks the headshot. Boom Boom's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Watch the hook. Nice block that time, it was intended to the head. Halfway through round number two. Wow, what an uppercut. Let it go, let it go. And he just holds on there. Not able to land the uppercut. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Boom Boom's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches gets what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing fantastic. Just keep up the good work. Won that round, all right? You won that one, all right? And round number three is underway. You're doing great, champ. Keep going. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Boom Boom's 
scoring with that right hand. That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. Locks that punch. That's a good block by Boom Boom. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Unload! Unload! More punch! Oh, good exchange there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Let's see some more head movement, Jeff. Come on. Boom Boom's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing room, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch, now. Nah. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, now. Nah. Last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round three. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want another round exactly like that. This is go. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? We got it. Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. You don't need that. Throw that away. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up around, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. Good block there by Boom Boom. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Get out. Pace yourself. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Punch. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. One, two, baby. One, two. Keep him popping. Keep him popping. Step up. That is a strong uppercut there. Engages in the clinch. Blocks away that headshot. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Big shot. Oh, banged around and down. So he has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Pace yourself. Uh. 
he takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Come on, breathe deeply. Inhale. Get some air in your lungs, all right? You're fighting his game plan. Boxing. Oh, look at good, real good out there. Look at him, he's tight. He he's real tight, he's got nothing left. Now listen, I need you to double up on your punches and keep that lead fired, all right? Boom Booms gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's it. That's he it. missed with that headshot. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front. Boom, boom! Damaged by a left hand. Come on now. Go. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good smooth work by Boom Boom. That's classic counterpunching. Oh, and there you go. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Missed the target with that hook. Nice. Real nice. Shake it Halfway off. into round number five here. Man, that's it, baby. Good job. Good job. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great nice, upper nice. body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bulk shot. Boom Boom's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Cover up! Cover up! Uppercut! That's what I want to see, baby. That's Good scoring counter see. punch by Boom Boom. Seconds remaining in this round. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. 
we come to the end of this round. And for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course you have that great call, do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying nice to counterpunch in these middle rounds. Hey, no, this there. is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing that. to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. of being a volume puncher. But Teddy, can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Double up on those punches, double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Keep moving. <laughs> boom Boom's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that get, punch. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. That's it. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely Focus. will, but maybe he'll change the script yeah, a little, champ, flip tied. the Look script at. a bit. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Boom Boom's throwing lots of punches and not many are landing, but what's that old on, saying, hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick? Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. 
He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Jump on him. Nice. Nice work. Nice work. And just grabbing on to his opponent. And he clinches yet again. Get in there. Get in there, champ. Get out the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. Keep working the chat. Halfway through the seventh round. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. That's it. That's it. Just Good defense like upstairs like to stay away from that offensive <laughs> assault. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Yeah, that's it. Seconds to go in the seventh. Smart kids, focus. <laughs> this guy can't handle your big shots, kid. He ain't never been punched with your kind of power. Let's make sure we make him feel it. I want to see hooks to the body, then a hook to the head, all right? Hook to the body, then to the head. You're letting this guy get away. Now, come on, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You gotta. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that yes, he's up. But if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen. Did you see that? That was a big shot that scored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's over. This fight is over. Boom Booms unable to get up and continue on. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.